Hello, I'm Dr. Cameron Popal again today and we're going to study orthopaedic examinations. So what I'm going to do in this session is I'm going to give a brief outline of how orthopaedic examinations are done and then one by one uh, I will be doing all the orthopaedic examinations and guiding you through it. So starting off with how orthopaedic examinations should be done. There's a general outline for orthopaedic examinations. So number one, in orthopaedic examinations we have the upper limb and the lower limb. Uh, in upper limb we've got the shoulder, the elbow and the wrist and in the lower limb we've got the hip, the knee and the ankle. So all of them follow a simple basic rule. If you keep this in mind, you'll, this will really help you when you're doing the orthopedic examinations. So the first thing is gait. That's specific for the lower limbs. We need to check if it is ateldric or not. Um, the thing that is generic for all orthopedic examinations is a very simple formula of look feel and move so what I mean by look feel and move is basically Initially, when you examine a patient, we have to look at it. So that's the inspection in which we are looking at discharge, swelling, redness, Car marks, bony deformity, and muscle wasting. So these are basically the a couple of points when you look at uh, a patient who's got an orthopedic abnormality. You need to look for any discharge coming out of any place, any swelling, any redness, any scar marks, any bony deformity or muscle wasting because that would all indicate to certain different types of diseases. So that's your inspection part. Then you have to feel. The feel part is basically the physical examination by touching the place, checking for temperature. and tenderness. And then obviously with all orthopedic examinations you have to move the joints. Now there are different types of movements which you all I'm sure might know. So it's flexion, extension, abduction, adduction, external rotation and internal rotation. All joints have, some have all and some have a few of these movements and we have to see if they are reduced or if they are normal. So that's the look, feel, move formula. And then the things that we should not forget is special tests. There will be different special tests for all the different joints which I will come to during the medical, the surgical and medical examinations uh, and every joint has its own special test so we'll be coming back to that. And then never forget to check the neurovascular status of the limb. 